This morning I woke up at 4 a.m. thinking about BISC and I just added the feature I woke up thinking about. So I wanna talk about it, why I made the change and why it's important and super cool. Uh, as evidence, this is what I scribbled down at 4 a.m. It says ranking with other, in case you can't read my legible sleepy time handwriting. In person, I built BISC, a survey platform that actually cares to get good data. And one of the really important missions behind BISC is for it to be not just an incredible survey platform, but also like low-key educational. I want people who are on BISC to feel more confident about their survey design, to be more confident about their analysis and how they use the results. And that's what this feature had to do with. We have a ranking question in BISC where you can rank things, you know, top three, top five, rank all the things on the list, all that jazz. And you can have people rank things and you can add an other right in where like if you've missed something that's like their favorite feature, they can write it in and rank it. I think it's a great best practice to include a write in on the off chance that you've missed something. Yesterday I was looking at one of our pilot users data and I saw that the other ranking was in like the number one slot on the results tab. And that kind of bothered me. Here's the thing, if other is in the number one ranking slot, that means we've like kind of fumbled with the answer choices, right? Because we've given answer choices, trying to cover all the things we think someone could really love about your program. And me seeing other in the first ranking slot meant, wow, like we missed the actual favorite feature of someone's program, like that's insane. Like one, good thing we had the other, but also two, like, I'm not really used to missing the mark like that. So I was like, hmm, weird. So I dig into the data and I see what's really going on, which is that one person has ranked other as their number one slot, but because the ranking displays the results as an average, one, one, that's the highest average ranking. So it's always gonna show up at the top of the list, even though there are other things that have like 15 people ranking them. It brings up this whole mathematical issue of like how you calculate averages and how you calculate rank orders of things and like what actually would be most meaningful for people to look at. What this shows is that like doing like an average and saying like here's the average rank for each thing and then ordering them from like highest rank to lowest rank isn't really the best because it doesn't account for the number of people ranking each thing. An alternative to that is to use something called Bayesian statistics. Basically does its calculations take into account the fact that the sample size may vary and that you don't want to overweight something that's been ranked highly by like one or two people. So I'm like great we should definitely use the Bayesian model but then I was thinking is everyone gonna know what that means? Like that's that's kind of confusing. Like I like I have to look up how Bayesian statistics works again and again and again. Like I don't know if the typical user of this like that's gonna be meaningful to them. So here's what we decided to do: split the ranking results into two columns, one that gives the adjusted ranking using the Bayesian model, and one that just does like the simple average. And then we added a little descriptor at the bottom to explain the differences. Now, in some cases, like with my onboarding survey, it won't matter which system you use, it'll look the same. But in other cases, like with this pilot user surveys, these lists will look dramatically different. Anyways, really excited to add this feature today. I think it's, again, just one of those like nice, delightful, thoughtful touches that makes BISC the best survey platform you could possibly use.